Richard Scary. Hey, look at all that smoke. Good morning, Mr. Fixit. We saw smoke. Do you have something cooking? Uh, yes, Wolfgang. I have something cooking, all right. My greatest invention ever! I'm building a rocket so I can go to the moon. Want to uh, take a look inside? No food. I wonder why Mr. Fixit wants to go to the moon. Maybe for something to eat. I heard the moon is made of green cheese. Mmm, green cheese. Go on in, take a look around. We've never been in a rocket ship before. Good morning, Huckle, Molly. Out for a morning ride? We were, until I ran over a nail. Can you fix our flat tire? I can fix anything. But first, I have to put a few finishing touches on my rocket ship. A rocket, rocket ship. ship? Take a look inside. Wow, Molly. Look at all this stuff. I wonder what this lever does. Don't! What if you accidentally send us to the moon? We'd get to wear spacesuits. Wouldn't that be great? No need to worry, boys. It's just us. Well, we thought you were space monsters or something. There's no such thing as space monsters. That looks like Mr. Frumble's hat. Watch out, Mr. Frumble! Uh oh. found my hat, so I'll leave now. You can't leave, Mr. Frumble. This rocket's going to the moon. Oh. Well, in that case, I'll just wait over here. Look, he's floating. We're all floating. There's no gravity. Can't you turn it around, Wolfgang? I don't know how to steer this thing. You better learn to steer. We're headed for a bunch of rocks. Oh. It's a meteor shower. Here comes the moon. broken. We'll never get home now. We're shipwrecked. Worse than that, we don't have any food. Unless the moon's really made of green cheese. Cheese and crackers. <laughs> Ready, Lonely? Let's see if we can find something to fix the steering wheel. From the look of it, I'd say this green cheese is awfully stale. You're right. It's hard as a rock. Oh, dear. I've lost my hat again. Wow! A 
up here, flat tires don't matter. Whee! This no gravity is great. Wow, that was some jump, Huckle. And it's easy to steer up here, too. Oh no, my handlebar's broken. That's it, Huckle. I know how to fix the steering wheel on the rocket. Come on! We know how to fix the steering wheel! Let's go home! Wait, we're all hungry. <laughs> there, that should do it. My bike's part of a real rocket. You're a genius, Lolly. Let's see if I can start this thing. Okay, everybody, hang on! What about my hat? There's something up there. Is it my rocket? Is it our sun? Is it a banana? No, it's Mr. Frumble's hat. Then Mr. Frumble can't be far behind. The rocket is in sight. for bravery to busy town's very first astronauts. Wolfgang Wolf, Harry Hyena, Benny Baboon, Huckle Cat, Lowly Worm, and, and, uh, where's Mr. Fumble? There he is! Imagine that. Huh. I'm sure glad corn doesn't have seeds. It does. You're eating them. I am? Seeds are in all the plants that grow. Some seeds are hidden and some seeds show. Seeds are in flowers and bushes and weeds to make is the home of bowler hats, umbrellas, double-decker buses, and Big Ben! Loud, isn't he? Look, that's Pip-Pip. She has just arrived in London. Pip-Pip's dream is to work in the service of the Queen of England. But as we'll see, that's not always so easy. going to see her. Excuse me, Mum, but that's no place for the Queen. That's the tomb. The tomb? Oh, you know, the underground. The subway. You wouldn't catch the Queen riding the crowded train, now, would you? I guess not. You seem to know a lot about the Queen. Maybe you can help me. I've come all the way to London to work on her royal service. It's a dream I've had ever since I was a little girl. Me too! Let's go ask the Queen for work together! Splendid! 
Oh, I'm Liza Little Mouse. My name's Pip Pip of Pipplewick. How'd you do? Come on then, Pip Pip. Let's go to Buckingham Palace and ask the Queen herself. <laughs> Difficult getting these chaps to talk, but don't worry, Pip Pip. I'll get him to take us to the Queen. Excuse me, sir. My name is Liza Little Mouse, and this is my friend Pip Pip. She likes to serve the Queen like you do. I don't think he heard you, Liza. Hello, up there. Anybody up? Now, what are we going to do? Well, if he won't answer us, we'll just have to find the Queen ourselves. Come on, Pip Pip. How did they do that without moving? Never mind, Liza. I don't think I want to be a palace guard if I can't talk to anyone. Quite right, Pip Pip. Bless you, Simon. Thank you, Brown. You're welcome. There must be something else I can do. Do you like jewellery? Oh, do I ever. Then I've got just the job for you. Um, excuse me. Um, but do you need any help guarding the Queen's jewels? We thought that since the Queen's jewels are all inside the Tower of London, maybe we could help guard them. I'm afraid you won't be able to guard all the Queen's jewels. You see, one of her rings is missing. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. It can't be that bad. It's a crying shame. We failed in our duty. Extra, extra. Read all about it. Extra, extra. Queen loses her ring. Read all about it. Maybe you didn't have enough guards. The other jewels could end up missing just like the ring. <laughs> if only we could find the ring, but we can't leave our post. That's it. If we find the ring, the Queen will surely give us jobs. But where should we look? Would you know by chance where the Queen was yesterday? <laughs> First, she went to the royal kitchen for her pastry, then to the royal garden for some flowers, and then, I think, to the royal fountain. Thanks! There's nothing here but great scones and muffins, so get away from the royal pastry. Her Majesty's ring is not here. Now, shoo! for the Queen's missing ring. Have you seen it? There's nothing here but Queen Anne's lace. Away with you! Now we'll never work for the Queen. My feet are tired. Mine too. Hmm. Hmm. What are you doing? This is the Queen's favourite fountain. You can't just throw yourself in it for no good reason. Oh, <laughs> I had a good reason, all right. What's this? Why, it's the Queen's ring. You found the ring! Let's hear a hip-hip for Pippin! Hip-hip, hooray! Hip-hip, hooray! For brave and heroic action in finding the royal ring, I grant thee, young Pip Pip and Liza Little Mouse, the job of royal fountain keepers. So Pip Pip and Liza became the Queen's youngest royal guards. But there was one thing they could never get used to keeping a straight face. Hey, 
play it safe. Do you know what to do if you get scared when you're walking down the street? No, what? When you're walking on the sidewalk, don't walk alone. Ask a friend to walk beside you. And if anybody scary tries to follow you home, get street smart. Here's what you do. Knock upon a neighbor's door with all of your might. Run to somewhere safe with lots of people and like the new yell for help. That's what you do if anybody scary's ever following you. You'll be street smart. <laughs> With a street smart plan, you'll be ready with the street smart plan. You'll be street smart with a street smart plan. You'll be ready with the street smart plan. Run and run and run and run as fast as you can. Shout and scream and holler, let me say it again. Then you yell for help. That's what you do. Get ready with the street smart plan. Can I walk home with you? <laughs> sure. <laughs> for my banana breakfast. Huh? No bananas? Gotta get some bananas. Better go to the store. Ugh. No money. That won't work. That's it. Work. I'll get a job. Then I'll have money for bananas whenever I want. Yuck. Okay, bananas. Here's what you can do. This school bus needs one last coat of paint. Oh, boy! Yellow! That's my favorite color! <laughs> I thought you'd like this job. Call me when you're finished. There you go, Sergeant Murphy. I see you have bananas working for you now. Yes. He was trying to earn some money to buy bananas. <laughs> that bananas. He sure loves his bananas. Well, I'm on my way to lunch with Captain Anteater. He's just arrived in Busy Bay with his cargo ship. Oh, Scotty! I'm finished! Already? Gee, Bananas, you're quick. <gasps> Isn't it great? I bet it's the only banana bus in Busy Town. But this isn't how I wanted it painted. You mean you don't like it? Well, it's certainly unique. But it doesn't look like a school bus. I think you'll have to find a job elsewhere. I'm sorry. Me too. It's good to finally get a little extra help around here, Bananas. Trim these hedges and I'll be back in an hour and see how you're doing. You can count on me, Mr. Root. I'm back, Bananas. How did it go? Terrific. Oh, no! Hi, Bananas! Are you okay? Uh, I just got fired from two jobs. And now I'll never get my bananas. Maybe this will cheer you up. Down at the harbor, there's a cargo ship... Stuffed with bananas! Wow! Maybe they can use some help. Thanks for the good news! Hey, where's the door on this thing? Hmm. That looks like the way up. Where is everybody? Come in. Hello? Wow! Oh, these bananas are a dream come true. Not if that's all you have to cook with day after day. Oh, 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 but I do. I cook with them every day. Well, I've tried everything. Banana salad, banana roast, flaming bananas, but the crew wants something new. Do you know any new recipes? You bet I do! Whoa! That was a close one. Whoever threw this banana peel here should know it's dangerous to litter. Oh, no! Look! It seems like someone's been stealing your cargo, Captain Anteater. And I may know who it is. You know who it is already, Sergeant Murphy. Well, 
This is Bananas Gorilla's Bananamobile, and I'll just bet he's on your ship. We better split up and search the ship. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, Bananas Gorilla! Oh, Bananas Gorilla! Bananas! Hmm, lots of bananas, but no Bananas Gorilla. Um, excuse me. Ah! I, I was wondering if you've seen a gorilla on board. Why, yes, I'll show you. Take a look in there. Bananas? Sorry! No bananas here! Oh, uh, whoops. <laughs> uh, sorry. How'd it go, Sergeant Murphy? Any luck? Not so far, but there's one place I haven't looked. Come on! Ho, ho, ho! Hurry, ho, ho! Stop right there, bananas. You're under arrest for banana theft. Arrest? Me? Yes. First, you'll have to pick up all the bananas in the harbor. Then I'm taking you down to the station. I'm innocent. Wait, wait. He didn't steal any bananas. What do you mean, Cookie? He's been showing me a new recipe. Mmm. This is the best banana soup I've ever tasted. It seems we've made a big mistake. We owe bananas an apology. Could you please come to the kitchen, Bananas? There's one more thing I'd like you to do. I didn't do anything wrong. Huh? Bananas Gorilla, we owe you an apology. We saw banana peels and jumped to the wrong conclusion. To make up for it, here's a banana feast in your honor. Well, what do you know? This is just what I wanted all day long. <laughs>